jungle. Hi everyone, thank you for your support. Keep watching my videos. Today we will be looking at some of my content. Now I'm up all night. I'm picturing you acting like a fool. I'm in your formula which would be used very frequently by most of the people in their organizations or in their day-to-day -day life. So if you would like to find out how many yes you got, how many no's you got, how many true are there, how many false, how many correct and how many incorrect, then the only formula are what I can say is the one of the formula which we can use is counting. So quickly let me explain that about you here. I have a data of uh, one week with our names over there and it's about all the attendance of one particular uh, organization for a few employees. So let me quickly go with the formula which is count if, then take the data, then put a comma over here. Now take a strings because I am trying to count further number of present okay so as whether the present is in words or text what i can say so i will take it is in the strings now hit enter you get the answer which is five if you look at this one two three four five present sorry or we have other formula for the same uh, which is count if select the data comma and whenever you have written as a p L, L, O, P, and O, which is a present. So select that particular cell and lock the cell by pressing F4 if it's in a desktop. If it's in a laptop, sometimes you have to use a function key and hold the F4 button and close the parenthesis. That's how you do it. Now let's try it for the second one, which is leave. Count if, then select your data, whichever you require to find out. I believe you can see manually which is one leave only and however let me try to find out the same over here. Lock the cell and close the parenthesis and one leave. Fantastic. So sometimes it would be like you know bothersome for me to do a manual methodology over here to find out how many count ifs we can keep on doing like this. Instead of that you can just drag and drop the same formula over here but just change the components or change the cells which you are looking for. So this is how I am doing it because there is no LOP here. I will do the same for here also wherein let me see how many I get week ops. Basically it should be two. So I will select here and close it. Right? Now once you select all these things and do it drag and drag you get the answer for everywhere. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out of eight over here you have five working days, I'm sorry, five present which was Two week ops and one leave, and seven days the rest of this. So I think everyone is able to understand this very clearly. So please comment, like, share, and subscribe on this to understand and to get more money. Thank you very much for your time. We are summing how exactly it works. So, sum if is one of the formula which will give you or which will check what if happens. So, the sum of this is 2650 which is either ways you write that the sum of these numbers 2650 now what happens is if at all if you find if you want to find out what is the sum of a fixed day for example if you would like to calculate for what is the sum of a monday like that you have 3 230 250 and 350 and the sum is 830 so if I want to find that, that is where I use a sum if and put my criteria, that's a range from the entire day. What's the criteria which I would like to see is my criteria is Monday in strings as it is text. Now what is my sum range is my total amount, what is F from there to the J, right? Now I enter 8.30 which is what you get. Okay. Now, something like count if, uh, sum if, now you select again here, then 
Can you put us up Tuesday or Saturday? Eh? Then select the amount here. So you can go and check that. So Saturday is here. So 520 plus 2 which is 11 point. This is how we can use a sum if to find for a specific measurement. Thank you very much for the time. Please like, share, comment, and